The Pittsburgh Steelers were a team that I wasn't a big fan of what they did in the 2020 NFL Draft. They didn't have a whole lot of picks with only six total picks, but... I think they kind of dropped the ball. They, you know, without a first round pick, I guess you got to keep, keep Minka Fitzpatrick in in mode. That was their who they traded their first round pick for, and they ended up getting a good quality guy that, that I think is one of the better defenders on their team. So if you keep that in play, I I think this is maybe considered a success in their part. But if you look at the specific picks they have, I just didn't really like what they did. Uh, Let's start with their second round pick, pick 17. They ended up taking Chase Claypool, the wide receiver out of uh, Notre Dame. He was viewed as potentially having to move to tight end in the league. And, you know, a lot of wide receivers went in this uh, draft early. You had one, two, three, four, five, six go in the first round. And then seven, eight, nine, ten. He was the 11th wide receiver taken. But I just feel like, when you know, was he the 11th best receiver? Maybe. But to pick him in the second round, I thought that was a little rich for my taste. You know, Chase Claypool, when I watch him play, you know, he played outside for the for Notre Dame. It sounds like that's where they're going to have him play for the Steelers. He, you know, he has some, you know, test well to combine. You can see that him build up that speed on the field. But he's a real raw route runner. He's not, you know, he doesn't do a lot of, going in and out of breaks it's just kind of like hey run deep run a post and he didn't really track and go get the ball very well so for a guy that's going to be taken in the first round i thought there was better players available um i would have rather had denzel mims who went you know 27th who went 10 picks later heck i might have even liked antonio gibson better or brian edwards out of south carolina I just thought there was better receivers available, especially where they were picking. Um, I get that they wanted to add an outside receiver to keep Juju Smith-Schuster inside at the slot. But once again, I just felt like, hey, maybe they reached a little bit. You know, they've had a lot of success drafting receivers in the second and third round. I mean, they tried that last year, uh, a couple years back with James Washington, who hasn't developed. Um, And they got the guy out of Toledo, who's kind of, you know, hit or miss. Um... But Juju Smith Schuster was a guy they hit on, so they're hopefully they're getting their next guy here. I just I just didn't see it. Third and fourth round picks, I didn't mind what they did. Alex Highsmith, a uh, pass rusher out of, out of Charlotte, gives them a true pass rusher. They've got T.J. Watt, they've got Alvin Bud Dupree as their two outside linebackers, two really good athletes. Highsmith is probably more of a true pass rusher. He kind of played that defensive end role at Charlotte. I kind of like the value. Um, it gives him something different. Anthony McFarlane, the running back out of Maryland, is a guy that I had uh, I liked him a lot as a you know his two years ago. The last year, he kind of got overpassed by Javon Leak. Didn't have the best year. If he can get back to two years ago form, I think they they've got a nice complement to. James Conner, but you know, getting him in the fourth round, you know, it's worth the shot taken on. And then for their remaining picks, you know, they got a guard in Kevin Dotson. I would have liked to see him maybe try to get an offensive tackle. Uh, they got another safety in Antoine Brooks from Maryland. They lost Sean Davis in free agency. And then in the seventh round, they got Carlos Davis, a defensive tackle out of Nebraska, a guy that's got potential. But I would like to see Carlos Davis play in a more of a four-man front where he can be more aggressive. Now, I get that the Steelers have a more athletic defensive line, and so they're not traditionally playing this, you know, taking on blocks, but they are still a three-front, three-man front. So Davis does have experience playing that in Nebraska, but I think that takes away with a lot of his athleticism. He's got potential, so maybe they hit on it. But with six picks... In this draft, I felt that they really need to nail those their first three picks, and I think they were okay at best with Claypool being a kind of a reach. So I was not a big fan of the Steelers. I don't feel I feel like they got some nice depth pieces, but I don't see Highsmith being a guy that's a starter down the road. McFarland's never more than a backup, and Claypool, if he doesn't hit, this draft class can be a complete dud.